Efforts to remove PFAS from Eau Claire's water supply continue years after the forever chemicals were detected in city wells. But as First News and I's Daniel Gomez explains, city officials are now working to hold PFAS manufacturers responsible. That's right, Alex. The city of Eau Claire is suing PFAS manufacturers in an effort to acquire more funds for PFAS removal from the water supply. These projects have cost the city more than a million dollars, with that price tag expected to rise even in the coming years. City officials say it could cost more than $20 million to rid Eau Claire's water supply of PFAS, a.k.a. Forever Chemicals. So far, at least a million dollars are going towards efforts like building a PFAS removal facility just outside the well on Riverview Drive. City officials have hired an attorney to help them get money from those they deem responsible for the contamination. That kind of money isn't just sitting around, so you, you know, it's, it's a matter of who's responsible for it and how do you best protect the city and its interests in getting as much recovery as you can. Ted Warpinski has decades of experience with environmental litigation. He says PFAS manufacturers have harmed many communities across the country. But they are a necessary part of, you know, player to get a, for a comprehensive solution that may come from multiple sources before it's all over. And reaching that solution is something Dr. Sarah Yang says should come sooner than later. She's an expert on PFAS and health who says while chronic conditions linked to prolonged PFAS exposure is known, there's still so much to learn from the class of chemicals that continues to expand. We think there's four to 5,000 or more chemicals in that class, and we really only have a grasp on like a handful. For City Community Services Director Lane Berg, this lawsuit comes down to not burdening affected water utility customers any further. The key things to remember are, you know, we, we didn't uh, we didn't create this problem, and we don't think it's fair to pass that cost of uh, PFAS removal onto our customers. It would be, be a significant increase to water water bills. We're looking at every avenue we can so that we don't have to pass these costs on to our ratepayers. It could be a long road. Um, but it's this you got to start you got to take the first step aside from the general blanket litigation on PFAS manufacturers announced on Monday Warpinski says there are settlements with large companies like 3M still in the works Berg tells me seven of the 16 wells are inactive because of high PFAS levels however all active wells are well below Wisconsin DNR regulations as for that PFAS removal facility at Riverview Drive City Well, Berg tells me officials expect to break ground in early 2024.